the 2019 Triple Crown returns for its final leg after an astounding 2063 billfish released in leg two. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal three days of fishing. Team Galati outpaced the field with 81 sails and one very important marlin to give them the leg two win, but just narrowly ahead of leg one champion, Fish Tank. Man, they were friggin' absolutely chewing on our tail. Team Galati has fished every leg in Triple Crown history. A lot of years fishing together and it's, it's, it's always fun being back on top. If you're gonna have fun, we're a better place to do it than here, right? So great here. We couldn't be more thankful for this amazing setting. It's a great community to be in. A little Presley, she was precious. Watching her catch her first sailfish was just, it's pretty special. What's not to like? We love taking our kids here and they love it. Sharing the Los Sueños lifestyle with friends and family is one of the great joys of fishing out of Herradura Bay. The team of the Smooth Move know all too well how special every moment is after the unexpected passing of their friend and matriarch, Ashley Trimble. My wife Ashley is originally from Louisiana. We've dated since we were 15. We've been married 31 years come March 5th. She loves this boat. She's the one that let me build this boat. And her only requirements of building the boat were that it was named Smooth Move after a drink from New Orleans and that the hull was Ferrari red. Other than that, she let me do everything I wanted to to it. I mean, the boat has some features that are very unique that I love. We built the interior out of sinker cypress, which we pulled out of the river but from behind my house. It's very unique in that it's probably well over 100 years old. We use petrified wood as the countertops that we had imported from Madagascar. And then my last feature that I love, my dogs are bronze. On the entryway, they're done by Walter Mathia. One of the nice features on the boat is this Bruno Omni sonar. Uh, we built it in this boat. We almost didn't do it, and now I'm glad we did, because we last year we really did well in the Gulf with it. Right here. There he is. You can get this cursor on him. He's 147 foot deep, about 500 foot away. Let's see if we can get him to bite here. Coming down the right side. How about that? <laughs> I have three children. My son, a financial analyst, graduated from UNT. My daughter, Audrey, is a emergency room trauma nurse at John Peter Smith Hospital in Fort Worth. And my daughter, Camille, who would have been 21, was taken away from us a little too early, but. She would have loved being out here fishing. Porter is very passionate about fishing, along with any other sport he picks up. I spent most of my life just outside of New Orleans and from Covington, Louisiana. I love it there because it's known as the sportsman's paradise. The hunting and the fishing is like nowhere on earth. Outside of fishing, my favorite love is quail hunting. I've quail hunted since I was a small child. I have two beautiful Llewellyn setters, Bure and Piper. They're the loves of my life outside my family. They make you happy every day seeing them because they love to hunt because it's what they were bred and born to do. And they're just wonderful to be around. As you know, you spend a lot of time with the owners one-on-one, -on -one, so you gotta make it kinda, everybody's gotta bend and make it work. I like my position up here yelling at them. Run short, run short, coming in, run short. Yeah, where else in the world can you scream at your boss? <laughs> My wife thinks the world of Costa Rica. She says it's the most beautiful place on earth, but it gives us something together that we both like. I grew up fishing and being on the water, so I love it. We have world-class fishing. We have world-class living. You know, it's a world-class resort, and she and I have been all over the world, and. You can't find that combination very often. And she just loves it here. I think she would rather be here than any place on the planet.
We're in Los Sueños. Can't ask for anything better. I'm here to dominate. Oh. We're just back at it again. We'll see what leg three's gonna bring. My brother took it down last time, so all I gotta do is beat him. Yeah, top angler right there. I can get you his autograph if you want. It's a family event for us on our boat. Watch out for war party this year. This is our second year in the tournament. I bought the boat a year ago, and it was in Costa Rica, and the first question I said to the broker is, how long is it gonna take it to get back to Florida? He said, two, three weeks. I said, great. A year and a half later, here I am, still here. Why would you ever, ever take a boat out of this marina in Costa Rica? This is the best. Harry Hindmarsh went for a fishing trip with the Big O, and he said they were wonderful, and I guess he's a photographer. This shot made the cover of Marlin Magazine, and he made this album. Look at the color on that fish. It's amazing. You've seen a lot of picture books on boats. But this is just amazing. Uh, Youngest angler in the tournament. Are real fish out there older than you? Yes. <laughs> How many fish do you think that they've caught here in this tournament since it started six years ago, the Triple Crown? Thousands and thousands and thousands. Since the Triple Crown or no, I have no idea. Oh, good God. I don't know. I, would even, I couldn't even guess. Just more than anywhere else in the entire world, probably. Maybe close to 100 grand now? That's a tough one. 20,000? I'd say pushing 25,000. 25,500. That's a lot of fish. Do I win? <laughs> Pretty damn <t> close. <laughs> Since the inception of the Triple Crown in 2014, an average of 44 boats a day released 25,473 billfish in 51 days of fishing. Wow, that's impressive, isn't it? Oh, man, I'm there. No, no, sorry, you oh, went you over. Went, it's like the price is right. You know, you go over. Better luck next time, Captain Ron. But the real fun starts with Lines In on day one. The only reason, the most fun reason to get up every single morning at four o'clock and just get it done, it's exciting. We've been practicing hard. Galati sold us this boat. I know he kicked ass last time, so we just want to beat him. <laughs> There's a lot of great, great teams out there this week. Can't wait to do it again, and this is a pretty special place to do it in. It's the best. Why wouldn't you be here? There are few better places on the planet than Los Sueños on day one of the Triple Crown. Big O was one of the 47 boats that can count themselves lucky to be here with an early marlin bite. We set out this morning and with about 15 minutes into the day, uh, we had a big balloon on the teaser. It was an incredible bite. Fish was well over 500, probably pushing six. It was really hard to get on him. He went up sea, then he went down sea. Rodney got to catch the fish, did a great job on him, and he hung in there. We almost floated him out of the cockpit three or four times, along with the mates. Open the door quick! But uh, it was exciting. All right, easy, All right. Easy, 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 Open the door! It was a lot of screaming, hollering. Of course, the fish was big. He was getting out on us. No, 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 no. It took us about an hour and a half to catch him. Release But um, we did catch him. He put on a credible show. The bite was one of the prettiest bites you'll ever see on the blue one. Just a special place on that boat for me. Uh, I love fishing with them guys. A steady stream of sailfish also rolled through the fleet. Blue Eagle made a living on them with 17 on the day. Started off this morning and started pretty good getting some bites and uh, a couple of doubles, some singles. I think we maybe had a triple around lunchtime. No marlin today, uh, unfortunately, but no, we had a great day and uh, 17 from 20. So they had a great day today, it was good. The 17 sails were good enough for third but to make it to second, Sea Angel reeled in every marlin they saw. Our first blue marlin came with the teaser, piled up, hooked that one, and caught a few more sails and we went on a lull and finally had another blue marlin show up. And it's always good to go two for two on blue marlins. I stay up, stay up top with these guys. Just across the dock, Uno Mas led the day with an interesting secret to their success. When they're hungry, they're really more aggressive. You know, they don't miss any fish. You get them fat and lazy, they just sit there and go to sleep, you know, on the rod. Can't do that. No food till we hit the dock. 
Everybody did really good. Our percentages were great, you know, and that's what it takes down here. If you get the bites, you better capitalize on them because somebody out here will tear you up. We got a blue right off the bat in the morning. Coming at us, baby. We actually saw another big blue marlin that didn't eat. Jeremy thought it was 500 pounds or bigger. He didn't get a bite out of it. And then it was just one of them to death, picking its sailfish. It just all came together. It was a good day. The sales added up quickly for Uno Mas, totaling a sweet 16. And along with the morning's blue marlin, they sit in first with 2,100 points. But that wasn't their only accomplishment of the day. They bought this for me, the hot dog hunter, yeah. Because uh, the sonar, we see hot dogs on the sonar, so I'm like, there's a hot dog, you know, coming down this side or that side, so I got the uh, glorious hot dog hunter award. <laughs> as prestigious as that may be, there's still plenty of work to be done if they want their name engraved on the Triple Crown. <laughs> Coffee, Red Bull, and crab legs. <laughs> That's the secret. And one of my favorite places on earth. We should be catching up today. We like to come in from behind. We don't like to start off, you know, on top. Happened to uh, time our spring break uh, with the Los Sueños Triple Crown and honored to be down here and get to fish these waters. This young lady right here can put the hurt on a fish. Well, then she's your pro angler. Oh, let's not go that Don't far. Don't tell him that. <laughs> it's going to be won by a selfish, I promise. Eight o'clock, lines in, lines in, good luck. You just can't miss fish. Each one counts. So you never know when you might go out there and catch three blue ones. That one selfish might, might do it for you. In the race for the overall Triple Crown champion, everyone is chasing Fish Tank and Captain Ben Horning. Job, they have buddy. a commanding 2,000 plus point lead for the series and released an impressive 13 sails and two marlin on day two. For the second day in a row, we had a marlin come up, blue marlin, and caught it. And then we caught a bunch of sailfish. And then we caught another blue marlin. Oh. Yeah. 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 Good job, boys. Yeah. And we caught some more sailfish. Here we are. <laughs> this is the third leg in a row that we're in third place after day two, so who knows what'll happen. New to the leaderboard, Hey Chama surged to second overall in day two. We had a wonderful day, guys. Don't sleep on underdogs because we're coming. It was a busy, busy day. We were only three anglers, so we were just busy all day, just whacking them one by one. We got a triple header. Two double headers, I think. Three minutes before, got a triple triple header. We had three anglers, so I was running all the way across the cockpit. At some point, I was in the flat line, and it, that one went off, and that one went off. I had to run over it all over the place. It was a disaster, but we had a great, great, great day. Pez collector caused the most stir on the dock after releasing 21 sails and a marlin for the day's best performance. We got one right at the end of the day that we sort of knew was going to put us over the top, so it all worked out today, man. Congrats, Artie! Yeah, congrats, James! Congratulations! You guys earned every one of them. Go, you're happy, man. I'm happy now. It just felt really good to get back in there, get our bites, be in the right spot, and luckily we had a blue marlin come in and we were able to catch it, and it sort of put us over the top for the day, so it was a really fun one. Can't wait to go tomorrow. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the first place, Uno Mas, an important post-win strategy session breaks out. You missed me! <laughs> they sit in first with 4,200 points. We caught a blue one right out of the gate. I mean, first bite, boom, and you know, that's always just such a gift in the tournament. Just a blind bite on the flat line, and um, didn't take a lot of line, didn't do much, and then got to the boat and went crazy, and you'll see that on the video. We're ready for tomorrow. We know it's going to be really tough. We know anybody can come out of nowhere and, and win. And we just, you know, going to fish hard. Totals for day two show a number of boats within striking distance as the final leg heads into the final day.
it's just wonderful. This is a, a, an incredible group of anglers, an incredible group of teams here. And any time that you get to walk up and be the last guys on the stage, it's a pretty memorable uh, event. As day three gets underway, let's ride along with one of the newest boats in the tournament, the Salem Wolf. Started with the Hamlin family 23 years ago. Uh, we started out with the 43 Viking there at Chub Key, and uh, we've moved up here to the 80-foot Donzi. Yeah, I think there were six or eight of these built. This was actually the second one built in 2001, and I think Bill's Roysters was built in 2004. It's pretty unique that uh, two of them are down here together in uh, Los Sueños. Probably not the quickest fishing boat in the world, but it's comfortable. My family can use it. It's our palace on the water. It's a challenge in the tournament, being a uh, restricted view with the enclosed flybridge, having to look around. It gets, it gets a little tricky when everybody gets close together. Uh, she's 80 foot, she doesn't spin on a dime, so uh, you gotta be aware of everybody around you. Yeah, Roger's really about more comfort and uh, the family atmosphere. Uh, he really enjoys his grandkids on board. I have seven grandchildren. We had our, our two youngest, seven and nine, here last week and they caught the first sailfish, and it was a real thrill for them and for me. The youngest grandson, Hammond, when we put him in the chair and started reeling, he wanted to do it himself, and he slapped his head, his hands off the reel. I'm not doing anything. No, you can take your And he reeled it in. <laughs> it, was, it was terrific. Seems like old time, doesn't it, Roger? Good day. Yeah. Great day, great day. Well, I got my team this week. John and I have been fishing together for 30 years. He and I, been through it all together. And my other angler is Ronnie Hedrick, and I just met Ronnie last month. He bought the unit below me, and so I called Ronnie and see if he'd like to fish. Professional angler is John Caravano. Uh, John's our first mate. Can't say enough about his ability to take care of the fishing in the boat. But Jake has been with me for 23 years. A very accomplished captain. Says a lot about his skills, and I love him to death. Roger bought a plantation in Estill, South Carolina which then I managed for 10 years. And then we got out of boating for a little while and we went to the farm and he was the tractor captain for 10 years. And then uh, we got back into boating. We bought the Donzi and uh, here we are in Costa Rica. Loving it. Right love. Right, love. In 1971, bought my first hotel. Kept growing it. In 87, I started the Masters Inn hotel chain. 2007, I sold out. I kept seven historic ends in Savannah, which gives me something to play with now. So I'm enjoying life. Bill Royster has the same kind of boat. Eduardo is captain, a really great captain. But I think you saw it in the video from the last tournament. He likes to flood the cockpit. Uh, put Bill on the floor. <laughs> it, was, it was quite a scene. <laughs> Hopefully Jake doesn't do that to me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they were looked like they were in pretty much the heat of the moment with the blue marlin on, and uh, sometimes you got to push it a little hard. My wife, she's a lot of my life, and my passion is fishing, and Pat's is sculpturing, of course. We brought pieces uh, from our home and put them in the unit here in Monticello, and we have pieces of her work on the boat. Uh, every time I look at them, I think of her. <laughs> you better find the fish, Rich is getting impatient. We came to Los Sueños and love the place. It looks like we're going to be here a long time. Day three action. Eight marlin are released in the first hour, including 2019's tournament first double marlin hookup by Numero Uno, who leads at noon with three marlin and two sails. It's a great way to make up ground quickly, but there are no shortcuts to the top if you want to win the Triple Crown.
Mario Pushy in third on time. Congratulations to all of the Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown winners. For final results, let's check in with tournament director Ashley Bredisher at the awards banquet. Good evening, everyone. First, pay tribute to the top anglers, Jackie Kopp of Family and Friends. I hope you're here tonight. Fishing is a passion that I love, and I've really enjoyed this tournament. So thank you, everybody. He released 45 sails and two marlin. Austin Angel of Sea Angel. Come on up. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> That's two words. Now it's time to give out $240,000 in cash and other prizes. Okay, in third place, it's Hey Chama. They released 44 sails and one marlin for 4,900 points. When I flew down all the way from the Netherlands, about 14 hours flight to come help these guys out and made it happen. Thank you to everyone for putting on an amazing tournament. It was a lot of fun. Okay, in second place, coming up to receive a check for $42,000 is Big O. You know, one of the things that's always been on my bucket list was to have my son and grandson fishing with me. Ronnie, Ronnie Fields, my captain, doing a great job. My mates, everybody, the whole team, putting it together. Thank you. In first place, one of us. Thanks to uh, Bill Rooster uh, for an incredible tournament. You, Bill. Bill Kirby for taking care of an incredible marina and operation here. It's pretty amazing. We travel all over the world in these tournaments everywhere. Nothing compares to this. You guys do an incredible job. The next prize, $100,000. Fish tank, come on up. They released over all three legs of this tournament, 144 sales and six marlin for 17,400 points. First of all, Ashley and Los Sueños, you guys do an incredible job every year. And oh. Anyway, our anglers all did a great job. Lure fish with a broken foot, which is incredible. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And enjoy the fireworks. Woo! Woo! Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo! That's so pretty! 